Hello everyone, I'm Thomas from Inzipio. We are a spin-off of the RWTH Aachen University Hospital in Germany. Our idea comes from the surgeons in the market. Did you know there are more than 6 million surgeries every year that require pre-operative surgical planning? This is especially important when it comes to designing transplants or implants, patients specifically. And you will be shocked, but today, most surgeons cannot plan these surgeries on their own. So how was it done today? There is CAT software out there, but surgeons can really use it in a clinical setting. They don't have the time or training to do so. It's hardly accepted. The alternative is outsourcing the planning to external engineers. The problem is the surgeons have to brief the engineers in video calls, which takes a lot of their time, leads to high costs, and the quality is often poor. So they are very unhappy with the situation. They are looking for a solution that is fully automated and AI powered. And that's exactly where Inzipio comes into play. We're the first provider of AI software for automated surgical planning. We have a patented technology and we are already ISO certified. With our technology, it leads, the planning leads to safety, independence and efficiency. Surgeons can use it whenever they want and wherever they want. And we are focusing on different use cases on the entire human body whenever bone material is in the focus. We are starting with facial reconstructions because that's where the idea was born and where we have the strongest network. Let me explain to you how a facial reconstruction is planned within Zipio today in our web software. It consists of three steps and three secret sources. Surgeons upload the computer tomographic images and our AI converts them into a perfect 3D model within seconds. Segmentation without artifacts is possible. And the next step, the surgical planning takes place. In this example, it's a lower jaw. The surgeon wants to remove a bone tumor in this example and install three segments from a different bone of the same patient. Our software calculates the perfect design, patient specifically, within seconds, and surgeons are always in control. That's what they want. They can always make adjustments if they wish. And last but not least, we are transferring the planning from the virtual designer to the operating room by using 3D printed cutting guides. We have also implemented LAMs, so surgeons can use our software via voice control like ChatGPT and use natural medical language. We are starting with a paper use model and will then switch to a SaaS model after a POC. And our users are surgeons and hospitals. And why do they decide for Inzipio? Because of four reasons. They are always in control. We reduce time expenditure by 90%, cost by 50%, and failure rate by up to 90%, 89%. So it has an impact on surgeons, patients, and the healthcare system. With a TAM of 16 billion and a growth rate of about 30%, we are active in a very trending market. And looking at the spider web diagram, our competitors, manual competitors, shown in blue and us in green, we are a true game changer for surgeons. We are an interdisciplinary founding team combining business, engineering, software development, and medicine. And we have all the skill sets we need at this point. After entering the market next year, we will reach break even in two years and then scale up by going international. And we are currently raising our seed financing round of 2 million euro and we already have commitments of a million. With that, we will obtain our certification and enter the European market. So if you want to invest in a startup with a real impact for 6 million patients, reach out to me very soon because we will close the round in the next couple of weeks. Thank you. I love the super specific use case. When is the first kind of like implant going to be done uh, using your software? So our surgery tool, our software was already tested successfully by surgeons around the world, top-notch top surgeons, um, virtually tested and on body donors. Um, on live patients, it will be done after the certification next summer, so in, in nine months. Super cool idea. Uh, can you tell a little bit how does your software fit to the overall tech stack uh, that the surgeons use and also what kind of regulatory hurdles you might uh, foresee in, in bringing this to the global markets? 
Very good and important question. Of course, we have taken into consideration that sales cycles can be difficult and long at hospitals. So from the beginning on, we have decided to come up with a web software that doesn't have to be installed on all computers in the hospital, nor does it have to be merged and connected to all the hospital information systems. It's a web software that the surgeons can use in the web browser whenever they want. They can even do it from home if they want and if nobody complains about it. So they are very happy with our setup. In terms of regulatory, our software has to get certified as a medical device, software as a medical device, class 2A according to MDR. We are already ISO certified. We already have a contract with a notified body that is specialized in software. And we have defined a timeline with them. So in our risk class, we are very confident that we can accomplish that time frame. Thank you so much, Thomas. Related to the question you just answered right now, how do you think about the trust building piece? Because as you touch all the stakeholders involved and are you know, literally touching the, uh, the lives of people, how do you think about that? So very positive aspects. The first one is we are a spin-off of one of the most credible university hospitals in Europe and one of the biggest ones. And one of my co-founders, Professor Ali Modaba, is a craniomaxillofacial surgeon and a key opinion leader in this field. So he opened so many doors for us. The surgeons know us. We are always active on medical events. My co-founders were in a big um, head and neck surgery event this week in, in Germany. We have doors open with all the decision makers. So we don't need to call them, do cold calls. We can directly reach the decision makers through our network. The other thing is that with our certification, everything is safe. We are already ISO certified, and liability doesn't change compared to, 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 to today's process. So nothing changes for the surgeons in terms of liability. Still time. Um, a quick one. Talking about trust and team, who of you guys is full-time committed? Let's go back to the team. The founding team consists of the first four people. Um, Everybody is full-time on the slide except for the professor. He works as a surgeon. We wouldn't actually need a surgeon full-time, but we can always reach him when we need him, and we have a contract with him. Everybody else is full-time. All right. You still have one question. 30 seconds. <laughs> I'll be fast. Um, what's the willingness to pay for this? Sorry, could you repeat? What's the willingness to pay for this? How much so do you monetize? We are, we are targeting a price of around 25% lower compared to the competition. For facial reconstructions, about 3,000 euro per planning, including cutting guides. But we say the, time sa the cost savings is 50% because they also have huge time savings. And at that time, they can take care of additional patients and make additional revenue for the hospital. So you charge by surgery? First, we are starting with paper use because this is their preferred way of doing it. We will get a higher market share in that case, and we will then switch to a SaaS model after a POC. All right. Thanks a lot, Thomas. Let's give a big round. Thank you.